In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the different ways to actually go ahead and create curves and arches here. So you can always create an arch from a circle if you wanted to. So if I were to draw a circle like I demonstrated in my last video, I can actually cut the circle at any point. If I were to put a line through it, I can actually use the scissors tool and cut away part of the circle, leaving an arch here. Or I can actually use a specific tool to draw an arch. By default, there's a three-point arch, and the way that this works is you first select your starting point, then you select your end point, and then you actually go ahead and create the radius of your arch. If I click the arrow next to the arch tool, I can select the tangential arch. Now this does require a line, so I can't just click anywhere. I actually need to click on a line, and it goes ahead and it creates an arch from the tangential point to that. Or there is a center point arch. So if I were to first click the center of my arch, I could then actually go ahead and draw the radius, and it will draw an arch around there in whichever length you would like. Now on top of the arch tools, there is actually what's called the spline tool. Now this is kind of drawing by default almost as if you wanted to hand draw something using curves. So I can actually just click and drag and create curves as I were to draw here, making arches and kind of sort of straight lines as I go. If I gave myself some type of flame design, I could go ahead and draw, and I'm just clicking between points whenever I want to start a new line to go ahead and create some type of curve pattern. Now, of course, drawing something like this, you have to be careful because it's very easy to not make a specific size or dimension when you're doing this. Um, and then underneath the spline is a spline point, which is a very similar function, but starting from a very specific point on a line. 